Enceladus is a moon of Saturn. Despite the fact that it is one of the smallest round moons we know of, it is also one of the most interesting ones we know of. That is because Enceladus has an ocean underneath the surface. This may not say much at first look, but a deeper insight does reveal that there may even be life forms in this ocean. So let's see what could possibly live here. So we know that there is a huge ocean because Enceladus showed a very wobbly surface which could only be possible if there is a huge chunk of liquid water underneath it. Also there are huge jet streams on Enceladus spewing water at a rate of 250 kilograms per second with a speed of 2,800 kilometers per hour meaning Enceladus is losing 250 kilograms a second. So Cassini, which is a probe around Saturn, flew over one of the jet streams around Enceladus. And it of course detected water, but interestingly it also detected hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen and oxygen, which are four out of six essential chemicals for life. But phosphorus and sulfur could also be present on the moon in its core. Cassini also detected more complex organic molecules such as ammonia, methane, which is a very good source of energy for life, benzene, propane and a few others. Which shows that there are lots of things going on down there. Now around the jet streams are also where the hotspots of the moon are, meaning that there are hydrothermal vents underneath the jet stream, providing heating and energy in the oceans. Hydrothermal vents also exist on Earth and is where life started on Earth. Interestingly, researchers conducted an experiment recreating the known conditions of Enceladus's southern ocean and found one single-celled microorganism which could thrive in the environment of Enceladus. That organism is called Methanothermococcus okinawensis. So this does not necessarily prove that there is life on Enceladus, but it does show that it is absolutely possible for life to exist there. But another not so exciting news is that, well, research also showed that Enceladus could be 100 million years old, which is relatively very young, meaning dinosaurs are older than this moon. What this means is that not enough time passed for these complex compounds to turn into a simple life form. There is a chance for that happening though. Where we should look instead of for more complex life is Europa, moon of Jupiter, which also has oceans, jet streams, hydrothermal vents and is a lot bigger. Thing about Europa is that it is 4 billion years old, which is 40 times older than Enceladus. Enough time for not only single cell life to evolve, but there could also be multicellular life, which could be similar to sponges or maybe even to fish. So the Cassini mission is over, it explored Enceladus, Saturn and its moons. The probe purposefully crashed into Saturn not to contaminate Enceladus with life forms from the Earth that could have stayed alive on the spacecraft. But there is a new mission, Europa Clipper. It should be launched in 2020. It will deliver a lander and will orbit Europa, meaning we will finally get up close pictures of Europa and a few from the surface of Europa. The lander is also equipped with a microscope to see if there is any life on the surface. Now it would be nice if we could drill through the many kilometers deep ice of Enceladus and Europa and really get down to the bottom of their oceans and see if there is any life. But sadly there are no plans for such missions as of right now. Still, there are many exciting missions awaiting us.